What's the other Same question? Thing. Go ahead. What's the other question? Okay. So my main question about Christianity, although you think I'm like a hater or whatever. Well, I'm hopefully not, you're not. I, really, I don't want you to. I want I'm you to be genuinely saved. genuinely asking. Okay. I want you to be saved. I don't want you to go to hell. I don't want you to go where Muhammad is. Muhammad is in hell, and I don't well, want you to go there. Of go course. Ahead. Of course. Yes, that's what I want to. So when it comes to the Christianity, the main belief of Christianity is Trinity, correct or not? Sure. And what's go ahead? Ask me about the Trinity. What makes somebody a Christian <laughs> is the belief in the Trinity. Yes, yes or no? Yeah, of course, you can't yes. reject the Trinity. Be a okay. Christian. Okay. What's the problem? Okay. Okay. Great. Which is fine, but sure. for me, oh, my right. main the main reason why I can't get on board with Christianity is because I haven't seen anywhere in the Bible where it directly speaks about the Trinity, <sighs> the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, or it says. I am the son of the father or something direct to make it very clear. Instead, it's all okay, just sister. different verses that you have to take okay. into context or that you have to interpret Hello. in a different way Hello. in order to get the message. Hello. Yeah. See, I'm going to yes. repeat again. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Now I'm going to say you're lying again. I'm going to say you're a liar. So let me repeat it again. Been there, got, not, done that. Got, you, let me, let me prove to you you're lying. lying. Let me prove to you you're lying. You haven't read the Bible. You're parroting what you learned from other people. Attack the Bible. You just said everyone heard you say that you know there, you haven't read anywhere where Jesus, I'm the Son of the Father, right? You said that. Correct. Okay. John ten thirty six. John. I said the can Trinity. I re answer your question now so I can now put you in your place? John ten thirty six. Jesus Trinity. says, "Do you say of him whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, I am blaspheming because I said I am the Son of God?" That's John ten thirty six. Do you accept it now that Jesus said, I'm the son of God? Can you explain about the Trinity? Before I do that, do you accept now in John 10, 36, Jesus said, do you say I'm blaspheming because I said I am the son of God? Because you said that's not in the Bible. Do you now accept other, Jesus? You're not answering my in question. In the other Gospels, there were many times where Jesus didn't claim. Okay, and, you're, and you're now trying to convince me. That you're not debating. And you're a wicked liar like your prophet because there's not a gospel where Jesus doesn't say I'm he's the son debating. of God. It's a okay, question. answer my question. Stop talking over me because you still didn't answer the question. Now, this is the third time. Do you accept that Jesus, when he said, I'm the son of God, you believe he's the son of God? Because I just gave you the verse. John 10, 36. Do you say of him whom the father sanctified and sent into the world? I am blaspheming because I said, I am the son of God. Do you accept that? If that was the if John is the only thing that I'm reading, then yes, that's I not what you it. said earlier. You change your argument. So you're a liar like your prophet. You said Dang. the Bible that's doesn't changed. say that. Now you're changing it. Now I'm going to give you another one from Matthew. Let's see how much of a wicked liar you are. Matthew eleven twenty seven. I'm going to give you another one. All things have been committed to me by my father. Matthew eleven twenty seven. All things have been committed to me by my father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. That's Matthew eleven twenty seven. 27. So do you not accept that Jesus said, God is my Father, I'm the Son that only the Father knows, and I'm the Son who alone reveals the Father. Do you accept that now? My question was about the Trinity. Okay, I'm getting there. Go do back. you accept it? I'm going to hang up on you because now you're exposing yourself to be a liar. Do you accept what Jesus just said in Matthew eleven twenty seven? 27? Um, I don't accept it, but yes, I understand. I don't accept it. So why are you asking me? I understand. No, no, I don't care about understand. You first said it's not in the Bible. I'm going to show you it's in the Bible. And even I show you, you don't accept it. So are you wasting my time? The reason why I'm saying I don't accept it is because there's other verses where Jesus there is no verse where like Jesus says, I'm not the son of God. You're lying. There's not a single verse where Jesus says, I'm not the son of God. Why are you lying? There's no verse like that. OK, what about, for example, when the fig, the fig trees, when Jesus, what when does Jesus the fig the tree fig got trees? to do with Jesus being calling himself son of God? You see how you change it? I'm going to embarrass you again with the fig tree. Mark 11, because Matthew 21. The son of God not know these things. What does that got to do with him claiming to be the son of God? Because now I'm going to humiliate you. See, I told you, been there, How done that, the got the t-shirt. Let me repeat it again. What does that got to do with him saying he is the son of God? So you're not listening. 
Let me try it again for the third time. What does Jesus cursing the fig tree got to do with Jesus saying, I'm the son of God? Why can't he be the son of God and curse the fig tree? Because it shows you're stupid. You don't know about Palestinian geography. Do you know about something called Taksh? What is Taksh? See, again, this is why I'm going to embarrass your prophet. Because in your stupidity, you accuse Jesus of not knowing something. When it shows that you're stupider than the Quran. Because Mark and Matthew know the geography. Because right before figs form on the tree... Something called taksh appears on the fig tree. When you go to the fig tree and there are no taksh, taksh is what you eat. And the taksh shows that this tree is about to bear figs. That means when Jesus went to the fig tree, he found no taksh, meaning he knew this tree was barren and he cursed it. You see how stupid you sound? Attacking well, Jesus for your stupidity. But now let me ask you a question because I'm not going to let you run. Do you believe the, the Quran when it said Jesus is the Messiah? Do you believe he's the Messiah? Yeah. You sure you believe it? Because I'm going to embarrass you now. Think twice before you yes. answer. Do you believe he's yes. also the virgin born son of Mary? Yes. Do you believe when the Quran says that he's the word from Allah? Surah the nisa 4171. Kalimatuhu al-qaha ila Maryam. His word which he cast down to Mary. Do you believe that? 4171 of the Quran. The word of God. I Kalimatuhu, mean, I'm giving you the Arabic. God, since yes. you pretend to read the word Arabic. Kalimatuhu al-qaha al Maryam. That's Surah the nisa 171. His word, which he sent down to Mary. And then do you believe yes. his ruh and minhu, spirit from him? Yes. Okay, now I'm going to challenge you in front of everyone. I want you to go to your Quran, your Quran, I want you to quote Jesus. Listen to my challenge before I hang up on you. I want you to go to your Quran. I want you to quote where Jesus in your Quran, because your Quran quotes Jesus, where Jesus says, I am the virgin born son of Mary. That's number one. I want you to then quote Jesus saying, I am the Messiah. That's number two. I want you to then quote Jesus in your Quran saying, I am Allah's word, which he sent down to Mary. That's number three. And the fourth challenge I want you to show me where Jesus says, I'm a spirit from Allah. Show me that in your Quran, where Jesus says it. Okay. You haven't answered my question about the Trinity. Show, answer my question. I answered yours. I'm going to keep answering. Answer my question. Don't tap dance like your prophet used to do and hide under Aisha's dress. Answer my question. That's fine, but I asked. Answer my question. question. I'm going to ask it a third time. Answer my question. Answer my question. Show me in your Quran where Jesus said that. Where Jesus said what? Oh, you mean you ignored me? Okay. Show me where Jesus says, I am the Messiah in your Quran. I want Jesus to I don't say know. Okay. I don't know. Show me where he says, I am Allah's word sent down to Mary. Okay. Show me where Jesus says, I am the word of Allah sent down to Mary. I, t I told you before, I don't have the Quran okay. memorized. So not, you better nice. go back, learn your filthy deen before you come and attack my Bible. Because all you've been doing is attacking, attacking the Bible. Yes, you have been. Stop it. Question. I'm going to hang up on you. Stop it. That's all you've been doing. Because even when I so showed you, you Jesus says he's the son of God. The Trinity is discussed in the Bible? All over the Bible, unlike your Quran that doesn't discuss Tawheed. Because your Quran, okay. Allah and the Spirit... And Jesus are all God, according to your Quran. So your Quran doesn't teach Tawheed, but the Bible does teach a Trinity. So don't go there. Okay? So don't go there, because I'm going to end up embarrassing you. Your Quran doesn't teach Tawheed. It teaches Allah, Jesus, and the Spirit are all God. Doesn't teach Tawheed. And the Bible does teach a Trinity. And I'll show you that very easily. But you're not listening, because every time I quote Jesus, you say, well, yeah, I understand, but I don't believe it. So why are you asking me? It, Why are you asking me? That, I'm saying I understand, but there are other verses that I don't There understand. are no That's verses that say that God is not a trinity. There are no verses that say Jesus is not the son of God. Stop it. Please stop the nonsense. Let me ask you a question okay, related to the trinity. Let me ask you a question related to the trinity. Can you okay. say in the name of Allah and Muhammad and Gabriel? No. Why? 
because we only believe in one God, Allah. So, that's it. Okay, so if I were to say in the name of Allah and Muhammad and Gabriel, that means I'm making Muhammad and Gabriel God? If you're saying it like the Christian way, yeah. Okay, forget it. Islamic way. Can the Muslims say in the name of Allah, Bismil, Bismil, you know, Allah, wa Muhammad, wa Jibreel? Can you say that? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. No, I didn't say Bismillah ar-Rahman. Bismillah wa Muhammad wa Jibreel. In the name of Muhammad and Jibreel. In the name of Allah and Muhammad and Jibreel. In the name of Allah and Muhammad and Jibreel. I don't know how many times I'm going to repeat myself. No, it just Bismillah. Why can't you say Allah, in the name it. of Allah and Muhammad and Jibreel? Why can't you say that? Uh, because we don't worship Muhammad or Jibreel. Thank you for proving Jesus confirmed the Trinity. Guys, let me repeat what you just said. Guys, listen. Because now watch how I'm going to hang up on her after I quote this verse. Notice what she said. Listen, you can't say in the name of Allah and Muhammad and Jibreel because we don't worship Muhammad and Jibreel. So if I were to say in the name of Allah and Muhammad and Jibreel, I'm making Muhammad and Jibreel God. You just buried yourself because in Matthew 28, 19, 28, 19, pay attention because I'm about to hang up on you because I know what you're going to say. Matthew 28, 19, Jesus says, making disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. There's your Trinity in your face. Now deny it so I can hang up on you. What is it, Matthew? What? 28, 19, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now I want you to deny this is Trinitarian so I can hang up on your face. Say it's not the Trinity. Please say it. Say it. I, I'm looking it up, and I'm I'm looking up the Amharic Testament. And you know Matthew's written in, in Greek, right? I could care less. You can even it's there in Amharic. What a desperate fool you are! Do you now yeah. agree that Jesus because I said? I want the original. It's know, in Greek. In it's not in Amharic. Okay, so do you now so admit? Do you admit Jesus just confirmed the Trinity? Yes or no? Jesus, come. I didn't get to read it yet. Can I read it? I just quoted it to you. I'm going to quote it five more times. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let me repeat it again. Making disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let me repeat it again. Go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Do I need to repeat it again? Okay, so him saying that means that he's saying that we don't worship the Son and the Holy Spirit. Do you want me to hang up on you right now? Let's try this again. You said you cannot say in the name of Allah and Muhammad and Gabriel because we don't worship Muhammad and Gabriel. That means if you say in the name of Allah and Muhammad and Gabriel, that's making Muhammad and Gabriel God with Allah. Jesus said in the name, singular, of the Father... And of the Son of the Holy Spirit, Father, there you go, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one name. So do you now agree that Jesus just identified Father, Son, Holy Spirit with one name? That's the Trinity. Yes or no? Quickly. Yes. Thank you. Now I know you're honest. Say it again. Yes. Okay. So stop attacking the Trinity. Stop attacking the Trinity. Now, I'm going to give you one more from Jesus, and I'm going to go back to the other caller. Because you honestly said it, you can now stay in my channel and learn. Stop debating. Learn the faith. Now, I'm going to show you something. Go to your Quran, Surah Al-Hajj, chapter 22 of the Quran. Chapter 22. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Now that you said that, now I respect. Now I know you're, there's some hope that God is working in your heart. Go to chapter 22, and I want you to get there, Surah Al-Hajj, chapter 22. Okay. When you get there, I want you to look verses 6 and 7. 6 and 7. Okay, I got it. Okay, read it for me slowly. That is because Allah is the truth and because he gives life to the dead and because he is over all things competent. And that they may know that the hour is coming, no doubt about it, and that Allah will resurrect those in the graves. Okay, pay attention to what your Quran said. Allah is the truth, al haq He gives light to the dead. The hour is mm -hmm. coming, have no doubt about it, where he will raise them from the graves, right? 
Yeah. Okay, so on Yom al qiyamah I want you to listen carefully. On the Day of Judgment, Allah will raise the dead from the graves. He is the truth who gives life to the dead. Allah raises the dead at the hour from their graves. Not a creature, not Jibreel, not Muhammad. Allah at the hour raises the dead from their graves. He's the truth and he gives life. So remember that because now I'm going to read to you something from the Gospel of John. I'll read it for you. You can write it down. John 5, 21. John 5, 21. Pay attention because where we're going to go with this. John 5, 21. For as the Father raises the dead, this is Jesus speaking, as the Father raises the dead and gives life to them, even so the Son gives life to whom he will. Quran says Allah gives life to whom he will. Jesus says, I the Son and the Father, we give life to whom we will. That's number one. John 5, 25. John 5, 25. John 5, verse 25. This is Jesus again. Pay attention. I'm going to read it slowly for you. John 5, 25. Most assuredly, I say to you, the hour is coming. Don't forget what you read in Surah Al-Hajj. In chapter 22, <laughs> verse 7, it says, the hour is coming. Have no doubt about it. Allah will raise them from their graves. Notice what Jesus said. John 5, 25. More, most assuredly, I say to you, the hour is coming. And now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. Jesus says, that hour, they're going to hear the voice of the Son of God, my voice, and they'll come to life. Oh, my goodness. John 5, 28 to 29. Write it down. John 5, verses 28 to 29. Because yeah, I'm going to read it for you. I got it. Okay, let me read it for you now. John 5, 28, 29. Pay attention. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming. Hour is coming which all who are in their graves will hear his voice. And 25, it says, the voice of the Son of God, and come forth. Now, final one, John 14, verse 6. John 14, verse 6. Watch what's okay. going to happen here. John 14, verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Okay, you just read in your Quran, Allah is the truth. He gives life. The hour comes, Allah will raise them from the graves. Jesus here said, I'm the Son of God, who like the Father gives life to whom I want. I am the truth and the life, and the hour is coming where those in the grave will hear my voice, the voice of the Son of God, and live. Why is Jesus speaking as if he's your God, Allah? Why is he doing what the Quran says only Allah can do? 